Welcome to this episode of the Harpreet Singh Show. I'm your host Harpreet Singh from Surrey, British Columbia, Canada. In today's program, we'll be talking to Tony Bernardo, who is the Executive Director of Canadian Shooting Sports Association. Today, we'll be talking to him as to why this association is against the government's intent to ban weapons in Canada and what does this association want from the government. So let's talk in details for the common people so that they come to know as to what the issue is and why these people are opposing the government's intent to ban weapons in Canada. Uh, Tony, welcome to the program. Thank you very much, Harpreet. Thank good, Th good to be here. Thank you. I know it's a little late at your side. We are on the west side, so we are three hours behind you. Uh, let's start off with Canadian Shooting Sports Association. What is this association? Okay. Well, we are a 60-year-old association of lawful firearms that are all licensed mm -hmm. and uh, vetted by the government every single day. And we participate in sport shooting and uh, hunting. Okay. And how many members do you have in Canada? 37,000 and we go coast to coast. Okay. So now... So quite a few. Yeah, quite a lot of people. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. in Canada and especially yeah. in the north, a lot of people are interested in hunting. And uh, off late, it's been about a year and a half since we are finding that there has been some opposition by this association and some other people also to the liberal plan of uh, banning the weapons. This was an election campaign issue also. But now after what right. happened in Nova Scotia, uh, we have seen that uh, the ba weapons will be banned in Canada. Can you tell us in detail as to what is the government's intent and what do they plan to ban? Well, the, the government's intent seems to be to attack lawful sport shooters because the only firearms they're banning are those that are used by lawful people mm -hmm. in lawful manners, and uh, this will have no effect on crime. They're not, they're not banning the, the, the guns of criminals. Those guns are already banned. So when you say that this will affect the law-abiding citizens of Canada who are already following the rules, please elaborate, because uh, why do okay, you feel sure. that the government is targeting those people who are already following the rules? Well, you, you have 2.2 million people in Canada that own firearms. They have licenses. Mm -hmm. They've passed all the tests. They pass the exams. They are actually subject to an RCMP background check every single day, once a day. We're the only group in Canada that have that level of scrutiny. The people that we're talking about are people who are totally lawful. They have not committed any crimes and, and evidenced by the fact that they have firearms licenses. If they had committed any crime, they would not have firearms licenses. Mm -hmm. So the, the people that the government is going after in this regard are people who have these licenses and that's all. They're not going after the people who break the laws. They're going after the people who obey the laws, which seems kind of counterintuitive. What the government is saying is that they want to ban the military-style assault weapons firearm. Can you uh, tell us what is the definition of these uh, weapons? No, I can't, because there isn't a definition. Mm -hmm. This is the whole problem. Um, the, the government is using a term that, that is made up. Uh, there is no such thing as an assault weapon. And okay. what they've done is deliberately tried to confuse this with assault rifles. Assault rifles were banned in Canada in 1979. There are no assault rifles in Canada. They're all banned. The only people that have them is the Canadian Army. So by trying to, to confuse people as to what we're talking about here, um, I, I think this is very disingenuous on the part of the government. They're deliberately trying to mislead people to think that they're banning something they're not. But Tony, that's an interesting point what you have said. If, they have already, if this uh, is already banned, then uh, what is the question then of uh, bringing in this kind of terminology? And... Uh, so basically in this ban, what type of firearms are included in this ban now? If they are already banned, what are they trying to ban now? Okay, well, they've banned 1,500 different makes and models. Mm -hmm. the, the vast majority of them are used either for sport shooting or for hunting. Okay, they, and some are quite common. Matter of fact, some are very common. Now, the, the government is saying that 
rifles such as the AR-15 is not suitable for sporting use in Canada. Yet for 40 years, that's 40 years, mm -hmm. the government has been giving us permits to take these firearms to ranges all over Canada in order to compete with them. So they're, they're quite clearly suitable for sporting purposes. And as well, there has only been one crime committed with an AR-15 in Canada, mm -hmm. and we started importing them in 1964. Okay. 1964, one crime. Wow, that's interesting. So it, well, that's it quite... is. <laughs> See, the, for a common person, when the government talks about banning the weapons, they feel they'll be secure. And that's what everybody wants. The safety and security right. is the top priority. And uh, probably that must be the top priority of the Canadian Sports uh, Shooting Association also. So now it's quite a complex Absolutely. thing. When we, from we your end, crime. <laughs> yeah. So from your end, what you are saying is that those weapons which are already banned, the government is trying to confuse the public. But what is the interest of the Liberal Party in uh, promoting this kind of uh, thought? Well, we don't know. Uh, it, it is purely ideological. Mm -hmm. um, it is something hardwired into the left wing of the Liberal Party. They've been coming after us for decades, and in spite of no evidence, they still keep coming. Um, we, we feel very set upon. We, we've been subject to this kind of discrimination now mm -hmm. for almost 40 years. And, and for 40 years, we've obeyed all the laws and we've, we've gone through every test and jumped through every hoop and done everything that we should have right by the book. And yet criminals, of course, aren't subject to any of these laws. Mm -hmm. Criminals go out and they use illegal guns and illegal ammunition to commit illegal acts. But for some reason, the government seems to blame us. And the only thing I can put down to, it's a lot easier to control legal people than it is to really go after crime, right? Absolutely. Uh, Tony, thank you for you know laying the foundation of what uh, we're going to discuss in the uh, future also. Let's go for a short break. We'll be back and we'll continue with the discussion as to how the CSSA plans to deal with this issue and how you are trying to create awareness amongst the common people also as to how the uh, law-abiding citizens are being targeted by this government. So we'll be back after this short break. Karen thought she won a gift card, but we had a much bigger surprise for her. Rise by lifting others. The Sant Motors. Ajkal di market which apne karnu cheti vechandi soch rahe ho, ta fir staging zarur kara lo. Khali kar uninviting the cold lagda hai. Jadke stage ki tawa hai kar warm color the khali jaganu vadiya pana denda hai. Apne karnu sale the lang to pehla ek var an elegant touch home staging the design di Rita Chauhan nal gal zarur kara lo. ताकि वो अपने स्किल्स ते एक्सपीरियंस नाल तोडे कार नु टॉप डॉलर्स विच बेचन नु तोडी मदद कर सकन कॉल 6046576612 या फिर इन दी वेबसाइट एंड एलिगेंट टच डॉट सी ते जाओ क्रिमिनल लॉ विच असॉल्ट ते घरेलू हिंसा चार्जेस बारे सही सलाह लेनी है त याद रखो हैमिल्टन लॉ ग्रुप कैली हैमिल्टन को वी तो वद साल दा तजुर्बा है एह तोडे केस दी सही पैरवाई करनगे कार खरीदन ते बेचन दी भी एक कन्वेंसिंग कर दे हन ते नोटरी जहे चार्जेस लेन दे हन केविन कैंबल इस दे माहर हन रियल स्टेट अते डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस केस हमारे मेनू कांटेक्ट करो और जानकारी ली कॉल करो 604-229-2077 दर्द तो आराम एलोपैथिक दवाइयां खान नाल आता जांदा है पर इस दे साइड इफेक्ट्स भी हुंदे हन नेचुरल तरीके दे सप्लीमेंट्स नाल तोडी दर्द नु जणो खत्म करण विच मार्क्स फार्मेसी दे हिंदी पंजाबी बोलन वाले स्टाफ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਮਦਦ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਨ ਇਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਟਸ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਹਰ ਹਿੱਸੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਭੇਜਦੇ ਹਨ ਅਪਾਇੰਟਮੈਂਟ ਬੁੱਕ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਅੱਜ ਹੀ ਕਾਲ ਕਰੋ 604-596-1774 ਜਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਵਿਜ਼ਿਟ ਕਰੋ 8035 120th ਸਟ੍ਰੀਟ ਡੈਲਟਾ ਦਰਦ ਨੂੰ ਜੜੋਂ ਖਤਮ ਕਰੋ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਫਿਰ ਆਪ ਸਭ ਦਾ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਵਿੱਚ in today's program, we are talking to Tony Bernardo, who is the Executive Director of Canadian Shooting Sports Association. 
So what we are talking to him is the government's intent to ban the weapons in Canada. So basically, before the break, what he has said is that these weapons, what the government is talking about, are already banned in Canada and they are being unnecessarily targeted. So we'll continue with our discussion. If you have any question, you can send us that question so that we can ask uh, Tony about that. So before I bring Tony on uh, air, I would like to announce the sponsors for today's program. Uh, if you are looking for new and apply, uh, used appliances, stove, fridge, washer, dryer or dishwasher, uh, you can depend upon premium appliances. They have three branches in Surrey, Abbotsford and Chilliwack. Special packages for builders and homeowners and they also install these appliances. You can call at 604-590-4140 for more information. Today's program is being brought to you by GJ's Kitchen Tiffin To Go. Upscale Indian street food if you want to eat, then remember Tiffin To Go. Kathy rolls, sandwiches, burgers, salads, grid, chicken or paneer. For these kind of uh, upscale Indian street food, just remember Tiffin To Go and you can order online at tiffintogo.com. So let's bring in again Tony and listen to him as to what he has to further tell us about the efforts being done by CSA to combat this issue. So Tony, before the break, you said that this ban has no relevance and the law abiding Canadians are being targeted. There are, as you said, about 2.2 million Canadians who hold these licenses. Can you tell us about yes. the rules and regulations which you have to go through to hold a license? Yes, Tony. Sure. Um, first of all, yeah. First of all, you have to take a course, mm -hmm. and then you have to take an exam. And if you want a restricted license, which is to shoot pistols, uh, then you have to take a second course and a second exam. Then after you've done that, you send your exam results into the federal government, and they run a background check on you, and it goes through the RCMP, CSIS your local police and uh, anybody else that might be interested in that. So like, for example, in provinces where they have provincial police, they also check you out and right down to the municipal level. Everybody has to give you a clean bill of health. They go back into your, your records and they go back lifetime now to see if you ever did anything wrong at all. If there's anything in there, it at very minimum phone forms an investigation. But if there's anything serious, like a crime of violence, you are denied your firearms license. Then you wait anywhere from three months to six months, and finally the firearms license arrives, and uh, you can you can use the firearms license. But if you want to use a restricted license, for example, to shoot pistols, mm -hmm. then you have to belong to a, a gun club and you have to get an approval from the gun club as well. And this is all done through the local chief firearms office. This is a long process. There's a lot of hoops to jump through. And then after you do this, you're entered into an RCMP system called continuous eligibility. Mm -hmm. And continuous eligibility runs your name through every police computer in Canada every single day. So we are checked out more than any other Canadians. We have a higher security level than people who have access to class three state secrets. Mm -hmm. So basically, even after the license every day, as you are saying, you are being monitored. And if every you day. have to take your weapon outside, are there some rules and regulations which have to be followed during that period also or after a license, Absolutely. though they are monitoring you, it's, you know, you can take your weapons Absolutely. anywhere. No, absolutely not. You can mm -hmm. you can only take a restricted firearm from your home to a gun store or to have it fixed or sold to a gunsmith or to a licensed range. And you have to go to and from the licensed range in a straight line. You, you can't divert from your route. And th this applies to uh, all the firearms that you have. Um, now, if, if you're going to the ranges, like I said, you have to have a clearance from the range as well so that the police know you really are a member of that shooting range. Right. And then at that point in time, every single thing you do is with mm -hmm. a permit. Everything is with a permit. So it's completely regulated. But you know, the, the bad guys don't do that. That's right. Oh, well, so yeah, It's totally completely regulated. regulated. We, okay. And also, have, have there been any instances? Yes, please. 
Go ahead. We we have 144 pages of regulation wow. that we have to apply. We have to apply to by the letter. Mm -hmm. If if we don't do this, they can put you in jail and and do. You know, they will take your license, take your guns, and arrest you and put you in jail if you don't comply perfectly to the letter of the law. It's very serious. Right. And also, you said before in the first part of the program that there has been one crime since 1964. So, uh, this was by uh, the one of the uh, persons yes. who was regulated. That, that so out of the 2.2 million people, what you say, who hold these licenses, there has been just one instance of this kind where the firearms were misused. No, no, I, I, I said what I said was the AR-15 rifle that okay. they're so, so hot to trot on. Right. So that okay, was the AR-15 rifle okay. is the one that the government loves to. Hit. Right. So what about now? What about is has there been any incident in the past where the weapons which are regulated, which your uh, association members hold, have they used it for some crime purposes? Very, very rarely. Mm -hmm. It has happened. It's very rare. As a matter of fact, it, it is half as likely for a firearms owner to commit a crime of violence okay. as a non-firearms owner. And check this out. One third is likely for a, a, a firearms owner to commit a violent crime. One third is likely than it is for a police officer mm -hmm. to commit a violent crime. We, we are the safest Canadians there are. Right. And we can prove it because we have the numbers. Mm hmm. So what has the CSSA done to combat this issue? Because right now, the way things have been projected, uh, people in general feel that this is the right step which is being taken by the government. But as you have said, with facts and figures that you are at the receiving end, the law-abiding citizens are the receiving end, whereas the criminals are not the ones who are being targeted. We'll go for a short break. We'll come back and learn more from you as to what all efforts are being done by your association and how can the common people also come forward and help you in this cause. So we'll be back after this short break. आज दी इस रियल एस्टेट मार्केट विच जरूरत है एक तजुर्बेकार ते मेहनती रियल एस्टेट एजेंट दी जो ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਰਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਸਹੀ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਮਾਰਕੀਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕਰ ਸਕੇ ਤੇ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਦ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਘਰ ਵੇਚਣਾ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਕਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਜ਼ਾਰਾਂ ਹੀ ਡਾਲਰਸ ਦੀ ਬਚਤ ਕਰਵਾ ਸਕੇ ਮਕਾਨ ਮਾਲਕ ਕਈ ਆਪਸ਼ਨਸ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਕਰਕੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਟਰਮਸ ਤੇ ਲਿਸਟਿੰਗ ਇੱਕ ਫਲੈਟ ਫੀ ਦੇ ਕੇ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਨ ਵਨ ਫਲੈਟ ਫੀ ਦੇ ਮਯੂਰ ਅਰੋੜਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਰਟੀ ਵੇਚਣ ਤੇ ਖਰੀਦਣ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਦਦ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਨ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਲੋਅਰ ਮੇਨਲੈਂਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਕਈ ਸਾਲਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਹਜ਼ਾਰਾਂ ਹੀ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਰਟੀਆਂ ਵੇਚੀਆਂ ਹਨ आज ही कॉल करो 6047251000 या फिर विजिट करो oneflatfee.ca कारनो अंदरों ता चंगे तरीके नाल सोना बना लिया है पर बाहर दी देख नु बढ़िया बनाने लिए चिंतित हो ता आओ पैसिफिक आर्ट स्टोन ते जिथे तानू रियल स्टोन मैन्युफैक्चर्ड स्टोन विनियर लाइम स्टोन ग्रेनाइट मार्बल आदि बढ़िया कलेक्शन लेन नु मिलेगी 2006 तो ही हाई क्वालिटी दे प्रोडक्ट्स ते बढ़िया कस्टमर सर्विस ले मशहूर हन ਇਹ ਨੈਚੁਰਲ ਤੇ ਮੈਨੂਫੈਕਚਰਡ ਸਟੋਨ ਵਿਨੀਅਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਮਵਰ ਮੈਨੂਫੈਕਚਰਰ ਤੇ ਇੰਪੋਰਟਰ ਹਨ ਐਕਸਟੀਰੀਅਰ ਫਲੋਰਿੰਗ ਡੈਕਸ ਪੌੜੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਕਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਹਨ ਅੱਜ ਹੀ ਆਓ 8585123 ਸਟ੍ਰੀਟ ਸ਼ਰੀ 6045905999 ਸ਼ਾਈਨ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਡੈਂਟਲ ਕਲੀਨਿਕ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਸਤਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਦੀ ਦੇਖ ਰੇਖ ਹੈ ਆਧੁਨਿਕ ਮਸ਼ੀਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਨਾਲ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਦੰਦਾਂ ਦੀ ਸਹੀ ਕੇਅਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾਵਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੰਦਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਫ਼ ਕਰਨਾ ਕਰਾਊਨਸ ਬ੍ਰਿਜਸ ਡੈਂਟਲ ਇੰਪਲਾਂਟਸ ਰੂਟ ਕੈਨਾਲ ਡੈਂਚਰਸ ਬੌਂਡਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਦ ਵਨੀਰਸ ਐਕਸਟ੍ਰੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਬੋਨ ਕ੍ਰਾਫਟਿੰਗ ਆਦ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਹਨ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਡੈਂਟਿਸਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਵੀ ਮਾਹਰ ਹਨ ਇਹ ਇੰਸ਼ੋਰੈਂਸ ਕੰਪਨੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਲੀ ਬਿਲ ਭੇਜਦੇ ਹਨ ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਘੱਟ ਤੋਂ ਘੱਟ ਚਾਰਜ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਵਾਅਦਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਫॉर ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਸ਼ਾਈਨ ਐਂਡ ਸਮਾਈਲ 604-503-0302 ਸਿਫਰ ਤੇ ਕਾਲ ਕਰੋ ਕਿੰਗ ਜੌਰਜ ਸੁਪਰ ਸਟੋਰ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਯੂਨਿਟ 370 7488 ਕਿੰਗ ਜੌਰਜ ਬੁਲੇਵਾਰਡ ਸਰੀ ਕਰ ਇੱਕ ਐਸੀ ਥਾਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਹਰ ਕੋਈ ਆਪਣੀ ਨਿੱਜੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਦੇ ਸੁਨਹਿਰੀ ਪਲ ਯਾਦ ਰੱਖਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਉਹ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰਿਆ ਜੀਵਨ ਬਤੀਤ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਹੀ ਪੂਰੀਆਂ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਜਦ ਕਿਸੇ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਨੂੰ ਸਜੇ ਹੋਏ ਘਰ ਚ ਬਦਲਿਆ ਜਾਵੇ ਨਵੇਂ ਘਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਫਰੇਮਿੰਗ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਫਿਨਿਸ਼ਿੰਗ ਤੱਕ ਡ੍ਰੇਪਰੀ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗਸ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਡੈਕੋਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਅਸੈਸਰੀਜ਼ ਤੱਕ ਤੁਸੀਂ SK ਹੋਮ ਡਿਜ਼ਾਈਨਸ ਦੀਆਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਜ਼
He has talked in details in the past two segments as to how they feel that the government is misusing its powers and the law-abiding Canadians are being targeted by this government. What has the CSSA done and what does it want from the common people? We'll talk about this. But before that, I would like to let you know that this program has been brought to you with the support of Acme Glass. If you're looking for custom closets, frameless glass railing, different kinds of shower doors, mirrors and other glasswork, remember Acme Glass. 604-543-8777 is their number. You can call them. Are you interested in renovating a building, a new home in Surrey, Delta, Richmond, Vancouver or Abbotsford? Then you require uh, honest and uh, an honest builder who will help you in building the home of your dreams. Call Ebony Homes at 604-825-9295. So if you have any questions, you can call us and we'll be continuing with our discussion with Tony as to what the CSS is doing to combat this. Yes, Tony. So what are you doing now? Have you gone to the court? Have you approached the government? What all has been done? Okay, yes. Yes to all of the above. We've gone to the media, we've gone to the government, and we've gone out to the Canadian people. Um, the government says, too bad. We don't care what you think. Mm -hmm. um, the Canadian people are being uh, lied to every single day by the government on this issue. And uh, I honestly can't tell you why, but we have uh, supported a couple of legal cases now against them. And uh, we have been working with the opposition parties to make sure that they understand the truth as to what the real issues facing Canadian firearms owners are. You know, now to, to put this into perspective, we estimate that by the time the government finishes this confiscation, they will have spent several billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Well, as of this week, they've donated 300 million to all the police services in Canada over five years, and they're donating 80 million dollars to the Canadian Border Services to stop gun smuggling that the criminals are using. So they're mm -hmm. willing to spend $80 million on stopping the gun smuggling real criminals use, mm -hmm. but they're willing to spend billions of dollars going after us. Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. How is this going so, to impact the firearms and sporting industry? Oh, it's devastating. I mean, it, it, the, the firearms that they are banning are, the, are many of the firearms that are used by sports enthusiasts across Canada. They spend a lot of money on these things. These are not inexpensive firearms. Uh, people have a, a thought that maybe a, a, a quality firearm might cost a couple hundred dollars, but no, they cost a couple of thousand dollars. And if you're into the real high-end hunting guns or real high-end sporting competition guns, you can be into tens of thousands of dollars very, very easily. So for, for or ordinary folks like myself, you know, I'm, I'm not a, a heavy-duty uh, competition shooter, but I do a little bit, mm -hmm. and I hunt. And they've already dinged me for $20,000 worth of property. And, you know, this, this is terrible. And, and I mean, we're, we're hearing a lot from immigrant populations, people who came here from places in the world that were perhaps not quite as free as Canada. And they're, they're outraged. They're saying that, that we came here because we valued freedom. And we valued the, the fact that people could do the things they want to do. And as long as they weren't hurting anybody, it was okay. And now comes this government, and, and with the wave of a hand, worse, without parliament, because they did it during the COVID thing, mm -hmm. where they could just simply wave their hand. And they did it through a, a device called ordering council that bypasses the House of Commons. And this is terrible. They're, they're affecting the lives of 2.2 million Canadians, and they didn't even put it in front of the House of Commons. Just terrible. Right. So after this was announced, have you approached the government? Has there been any meeting with the member parliaments? And uh, of course, as you said, you have been uh, meeting the opposition members. But what about the government MPs and the ministers? Has anybody given you audience? Nope. The, the MPs in the opposition are okay. They, they talk to us all the time. Mm -hmm. The MPs in the government, they want nothing to do with it. They will not even speak to you. 
They will not listen to your concerns. So we've done what anybody else would do. We've taken it through the court system. But right. that's going to take years. And it's going to take hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of dollars mm -hmm. in order to do this. And, and by the time we get a resolution, it may be too late. The, the, real, the real deal is you need to do this politically. You need to take the people who are doing these bad things to Canadians and vote them out of office. That's really what it comes down to. Right. I'd also like to touch a little bit about gun registry because there's some confusion among the common people about this concept of gun registry. Can you just explain in common terms as to what is the gun registry related in any way to what we have talked so far? Um, well, the gun registry sells these firearms. They buy mm -hmm. them, they sell them. Um, they distribute them across the, the country to the stores. Right. Um, the, the gun industry employs about 4,000 people in Canada. Uh, on a full-time basis and another 8,000 on a part-time basis. Um, you're talking about an industry that's about $8 billion a year and an industry that, of course, causes and commits no crimes. Mm -hmm. um, it's heavily regulated, just the same as, as the shooters are regulated. The industry is even more regulated. No fire can be moved without permits. They can't be brought in the country without permits. Uh, the, the regulation on a dealer is just absolutely huge. And like I say, we're talking about an $8 billion a year industry, so it's not small. This is not right. little little money. And, and they're being severely damaged. Right. So basically, Tony, what you have said is that this ban has no relevance in uh, when we talk about crime reduction. It's not going to help in any way with that. No. Towards the end, no. what would be your message to the common Canadians who are watching this program today as to how they can also come forward and uh, talk for justice? Well, the, the biggest message is don't be fooled. <laughs> the government is selling you a bill of goods to try to make themselves look like they're doing something about crime. Right. But in fact, they're doing nothing about crime. Mm -hmm. Don't let them get away with this. When they take away the freedom from one person, they take away the freedom from all people. Right. It's not just the, the person who's affected today. You may be affected tomorrow by the same kind of... Yes, Tony. Like this. Uh, right. Tony, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for sparing your time and letting our viewers know today as to what this ban is all about and how the CSA is fighting this. And as you have Did said... Did I lose you, Harpreet? Pardon me? Yes, the voice got cut. Uh, did you say anything? No, go right. ahead. Uh, Tony, so what I was saying is that, as you said, that this ban has no relevance with crime reduction and you're asking the common people to stand for justice. And we hope this message percolates right. down to the common people and the government is held accountable. Yes. Thank you very much for your time and uh, keep continuing with what you're you are doing. And definitely, I hope uh, that things will come straight forward. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, sir. We're fighting for the freedom of everybody. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. So, a son Tony Bernando, who is the executive director of the Canadian Shooting Sports Association, de, in an alvistar which I was talking about, the crux is that they are saying that the government is banning weapons that are already in 1964. Uh, four, uh, to jodha hai a ban is uh, running. But the government is the sporting industry or law-abiding citizens who have already regulations that they are already targeting and they are doing this. They are saying that the crime reduction of this ban is not going to cut the crime, but the criminals are going to cut the crime of their own. They are going to cut the border or the other criminals are going to target the weapons of their own. तो अगर मेरे साथ हर रोज़ शाम नू सात बजे होया करता है पैसिफिक स्टैंडर्ड टाइम दे मुताबिक जेकर तो आधे कॉल भी कोई मुद्दा होए तब तुसी मेरे नाल सांझ पास कर दियो मेरा फोन नंबर है सिक्स जीरो फोर सिक्स जीरो थ्री सेवेन ट्रिपल फाइव या फिर ईमेल जरिए संपर्क कर सकते हो हरप्रीत सिंह शो एट जी मेल एक दूसरे नाल हाथ मिला के ही ऐसे अगे समाज दे जो कुछ हो रहा है उस अगे लिया सकते हैं तो कुछ पॉजिटिव चेंजेस जोड़े है वो लिया सकते हैं नाल ही अज का यह प्रोग्राम जो है तो तक पहुँचाया जा रहा है अही ट्रांसपोर्टेन के सहयोग न कैनेडा भर में कितने भी ट्रांसपोर्टेन गुड्स तुम पहुँचाने है तो तुम याद रखो अही ट्रांसपोर्टेन एट नाइन सैवन जीरो रिवर रोड डेल्टा के ऑफिस है फोन नंबर है सिक्स जीरो फोर नाइन फोर जीरो नाइन फाइव वन वन 
ई मेल है शहीर एट माफी चाहना हाँ शिंदा एट अहीर डॉट कॉम या फिर इन्हों की वैबसाइट अहीर डॉट कॉम से जा सकते हो उस ही अज का यह प्रोग्राम थोड़े तक पहुँचाया जा रहा है ए एम सी इंश्योरेंस के सहयोग के नाल होम ऑटो ट्रैवल बिजनेस लाइफ या रिक्रिएशनल इंश्योरेंस करवा है तो फिर याद रखो ए एम सी इंश्योरेंस में इन दे सत्त दफ्तर है जड़े कि माफी चाहना हाँ नौ दफ्तर ने हफ्ते के सत्तों दिन खुले रेंगे ने राइट एडवाइज और राइट प्रोडक्ट लिए फोन कर सकते हो सिक्स जीरो फोर फाइव जीरो सैवन सिक्स 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 उस दाल ही प्रोग्राम के साथ सहयोगी हैं अमन टाइल्स मेहनती तो ईमानदार टाइल इंस्टॉलर हर किस्म की टाइल्स लाने की महारत रखते हैं नव घर बना रहे हो या फिर रेनोवेट कर रहे हो तो फिर कॉल करो अमन सैवन सैवन एट थ्री वन सिक्स थ्री फाइव वन जीरो सो इतें ही करना प्रोग्राम की समाप्ति फिर मुलाकात करा सब का धनवाद प्रोग्राम समा कट के शामिल होने लिए Have a safe evening and enjoy yourself. My name is Jeevan Bath and I'd like to tell you why you should purchase your next vehicle from Suki Bath Motors. Suki Bath has been selling quality pre-owned vehicles for 37 years. All of our vehicles come with a certified inspection report and history reports are available for all vehicles. All of our sales staff is fully licensed. We promise to give you the best customer service experience. Last but not least, we provide financing for everybody regardless of your credit situation. Visit sukibathmotors.com today. Van Casa Tile at the Stone Showroom ek aisi tha hai jithe tonu wholesale kimta te har kisam diyan tiles, stone, marble, backsplash, mosaic aad wajib kimta te mil sakda hai. Italian, Spanish, Chinese porcelain ya ceramic tiles ya marble. Special order te ya clearance te le sakde ho. मालक डायरेक्ट टाइल्स इंपोर्ट करते हैं जिस करके वधिया क्वालिटी का समान तुम अपने घर का शिंगार बना सकते हो आज ही विजिट करो वन थ्री जीरो फोर टू एटी फोर एवन्यू सरी पंजाबी हिंदी में गल करने कॉल करो छे सौ चार तीन सौ तीह तिहत्तर त्रेट भारत पैसे भेजने हो या फिर मंगवाने हो याद रखो पंजाब फॉरैक्स नसली बख सेवा रेट देन की एक गारंटी करते हैं अज ही कॉल करो सिक्स जीरो फोर थ्री फोर नाइन वन थ्री वन थ्री उत्ते